Right, let's go over the knife safety rules. Number one, a knife is a tool, not a toy. And you must treat it with respect. In the Cub Scouts, there's the concept of the blood circle, which is you put the knife in your hand, closed, stick your arm out as far as it will go, and then go walk around in a circle. And if you can hit any other person with your hand, then you shouldn't even be opening your knife. So make sure nobody is within the range of the circle if you were to extend your full arm before opening your knife. It sounds kind of stupid, but the fact is, if somebody bumps into you while you're using your knife, you could very well hurt them or hurt yourself. Now to open a knife, hold it in one hand, use your fingernail to open it until it snaps into position, and then your knife is open. To close it, hold the handle, and then use your open palm to close it until it snaps. Now if you have something like this uh, American buck knife here, and you've got a lock blade on it, I wouldn't recommend this if you're a parent getting your kid a knife for the first time. I wouldn't get him a lock blade to begin with, but uh, you, you push in the lock and then you gently get it started and then use the same procedure. Now always cut away from your body. So you never want to be cutting towards yourself. In fact, if you look real, real close, look real close here, you'll see this scar where I cut towards myself and slice myself up the arm pretty good. So you just, if you're always cutting away from your body and, and have no fingers in the way, that is the safest way to cut. Uh, never walk around with an open pocket knife. Always close it first. Uh, never throw your knife at anything or anybody because it could bounce off and stab somebody in the wrong place. Oh, that scar right there is from somebody throwing a screwdriver at me and it's sticking my arm. So that's an example of somebody getting mad and throwing something and having it stick into somebody else. I do believe I deserved it at the time, but it still hurt and I had to go to the doctor. So better not to throw things at people that are pointy. When you're using your knife blade to cut wood, don't don't take big chunks, but rather try to try to take a little bit at a time. Is much better than trying to dig into it and 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 jam it down and grab a big chunk. Um, always keep your knife sharp. A sharp knife is actually safer than a dull knife because you know exactly what it can do and it's not going to get stuck on things. So always keep your knife sharp. If you're going to hand your knife to another person, always close it. Offer it to the person. When they grab it, they should say thank you and then you let go after they say thank you and then they receive it. That's the, the uh, old Cub Scout Boy Scout way. Uh, if you're a kid and your parents have given you a pocket knife, be aware that you can't take it to school, you can't take it to a sporting event, you can't take it to the airport. Look at your local state ordinances as well. Like my beloved uh, family heirloom American buck knife here, if, if I were to carry that in my pocket in Los Angeles, it would be illegal because it's more than three inches long. So this one actually isn't allowed out of the house where I live. So make sure you know your state laws and your local laws, but, but definitely any airport, any school, any um, sporting event or, or venue where they're having a concert, they're going to find it and they're going to tell you you can't have it. Now the knife is a cutting tool. It's not a prying tool. It's not a screwdriver. It is designed for cutting things. So if you want to do other things than cut, do not use your knife blade for that. In fact, if, if uh, you need a multitude of tools, it's a good idea to carry some kind of magical uh, Swiss Army knife that has everything that you possibly need. This one's got a magnifying glass, pliers, uh, screwdriver, bottle opener. This takes your sperm count. Every possible thing that you could want is on here. And if you want to cut, you use the cutting tool. But you only use the cutting tool to cut. You don't use it for anything else.